In my previous video, I talked about the pros and cons about living in Arcadia, California. I grew up in this town and today I'm going to go even deeper and talk about where I would personally look into if I were to move back today. I'm going to go over the most prestigious neighborhoods, the most private, and the most convenient neighborhoods so you'll know exactly what to expect when you make your move here. What's up everyone, Kevin Quo here, local realtor in Pasadena, California. Welcome to my channel where we talk about home ownership in the greater Pasadena, Southern California area. If you're looking to buy or sell or have any real estate related needs or questions, leave me a message down below and my partners and I would love to help. To give you guys some context as to where we are, Arcadia is a city located about 12 miles northeast of downtown Los Angeles. The size of this town is roughly about 11 square miles and it has a population of a little bit less than 58,000 people. There is one freeway called the 210 freeway that runs right through it on the north side of town and cities adjacent to Arcadia include Sierra Madre to the north, Pasadena to the northwest, Temple City to the west, El Monte to the south and Monrovia to the east. If price isn't an issue and you want to live in the most prestigious part of town, you want to look at the neighborhoods Upper Rancho and Santa Anita Oaks located at the northwest side of the city right above Foothill Boulevard and west of Santa Anita Avenue. Even though the medium home price here in Arcadia is around one and a quarter million for a three bedroom, two bath home, over here the sky is the limit. There are homes here selling for above $10 million and larger than 10,000 square feet. The streets here are very private and well landscaped with mature trees everywhere. You'll see lots here up to one acre large. We're talking about lots up to 150 feet wide and 300 feet deep. These exclusive neighborhoods are also minutes away from the 210 freeway and Arcadia's major venues like the Los Angeles Arboretum, Santa Anita Racetrack, Santa Anita Shopping Center, and you're really close to a neighborhood supermarket big box strip mall called the Hastings Ranch Village located right next door in Pasadena. Before we move on, if you like my content, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm to help share this video. If you want a home that's in the mid-range price tag, but you also want that remote suburban neighborhood feel, consider the Highlands neighborhood located right next to Upper Rancho on the northeastern part of town, east of Santa Anita Avenue and north of Foothill Boulevard, located at the base of the San Gabriel Mountains. You really feel close to the mountains living here. It's really common to see deer, coyote, and other mountain wildlife come down from the mountains looking for food. Living in the highlands, you are a little further away from Arcadia's major commercial centers, but you still have convenient freeway access and there's still a Ralph supermarket and convenience stores located nearby on Foothill Boulevard where you can quickly get your daily necessities. Another neighborhood I look into for privacy is the area located south of the 210, west of Baldwin Avenue, and north of Huntington Drive, adjacent to the Los Angeles Arboretum called Rancho Santa Anita and Santa Anita Village, also known as Lower Rancho. There are only a few entrances that go in and out of this area. This neighborhood also feels private because the roads here twist and turn and are not on linear grids. Streets are very green here and well landscaped. There are multiple HOAs that dictate the home designs in these neighborhoods and the bikes scenery that runs through these streets are absolutely gorgeous. Here it's very common to see different type of wildlife like peacocks from the LA Arboretum walking around. Just because the neighborhood here is very private doesn't mean it's inconvenient though. Living in Lower Rancho, there is a Korean supermarket H Mart just south on Huntington Drive and you're minutes away from Chinese supermarket 99 Ranch and American supermarket Vons on the corner of Duarte and Baldwin Avenue. Homes in both the Highlands and Lower Rancho will range between one and a quarter and four million dollars. The lot sizes and home sizes here are still large, but they're smaller compared to Upper Rancho. Roughly around 12,000 square foot lot sizes and the buildings here are between 2,000 and 4,000 square feet. If you want a less expensive home in Arcadia, consider homes throughout this town with smaller lot sizes. A lot of the small homes on larger lots in Arcadia are bought by builders and investors so that they can tear it down and rebuild into mansions for reselling. Lots that are too small are not desirable to these builders and you may be able to find an original 1940 or 1950 built home at an entry level home price. Multi-family neighborhoods. If you don't need a yard and you just want something with low maintenance, 
Consider the multi-family neighborhoods on the west side and the east side of town. On the west side, look for condos and townhouses just south of Huntington Drive and around Baldwin Avenue and Duarte Road. Around this area, you are at the center of Arcadia's commercial activities. It's very close to multiple Asian and traditional supermarkets, lots of Asian restaurants on Baldwin and Duarte, Santa Anita Shopping Center, Santa Anita Racetrack, and LA Arboretum. On the east side, look for multi-family just south of Huntington Drive, north of Duarte and east of Santa Anita. This neighborhood is more quiet and less busy. It's really close to places to exercise like the Arcadia County Park, Santa Anita Golf Course, and Arcadia High School Track. However, you're not far from restaurants and commercial centers either. Because it's just south of Huntington Drive, which leads into the city of Monrovia, on Huntington Drive, you'll find more diverse variety of non-Asian restaurants from traditional American steakhouses to breweries and other big box retailers in the city of Monrovia. If you were to purchase these condos, more affordable, older three-bedroom townhouse condos will range between $800,000 and the newer, larger built condos will range between $1.1 and $1.3 million. If having a big house, big lot, and convenient access to major streets is your top priority, consider the southern part of Arcadia, just south of Duarte Road, north of Las Tunas Drive, between Baldwin and Santa Anita Avenue. I couldn't find the name of this area, but many buyers like this area because it's really close to multiple elementary schools, and it's just south of Arcadia High School. Many of the homes here have been torn down and rebuilt by builders into mansions. It's very common to find lots here up to half an acre, and home sizes between five and 7,000 square feet. You have a large selection of bigger, newer homes here. It's not as private as the previous neighborhoods that I mentioned, and that's because the streets here are on grid formation, allowing you to get to main streets fast. Even though there are a lot of trees, because the homes are so large, the size of the buildings actually makes the streets seem less green. There is no HOA governing here, so you'll see all kinds of architectural styles ranging from traditional Spanish, Italian, European, to modern, to different eclectic styles. Main streets like Baldwin Avenue and Santa Anita Avenue makes it very convenient to get to freeways, supermarkets, and anything that you can't get in Arcadia, you'll most likely be able to find in wholesale stores like Sam's Club and Home Depot just south in El Monte. These are just a few of my favorite neighborhoods in Arcadia, California. Hope this gives you a better idea where to look when moving out here. Please comment down below if you agree or disagree with my opinions and be sure to subscribe to get new videos about living in the greater Pasadena area. Until next time, goodbye.